Stalin's youngest son had a difficult fate. At first, he made a dizzying career, was loved and popular, but then followed an equally rapid fall. Vasily spent several years in prison and exile and died at the age of 40. What was his character like? What contributed to his early departure? And why do many of his loved ones doubt the official cause of his death? As you know, Stalin had three native children. The eldest son, Yakov, was born from his first marriage and died in the war at 1943. From his second marriage with Nadezhda Aleluyeva, a younger son and daughter were born. Joseph Stalin pampered only his daughter Svetlana, but he was very strict and demanding of his sons. The childhood of the children of the harsh leader could hardly be called happy. When Vasily was 12 years old, his mother committed suicide. This left an imprint on his character and his entire future fate. After the death of his wife, Stalin actually handed over the upbringing of his son to his guards. Later, Vasily will remember that they were unrestrained, rude, not distinguished by morality men. With their connivance, the boy became addicted to smoking and drinking early. Vasily was an enthusiastic and passionate person. He was very fond of the sky, sports and women. In the 40th year he graduated from the aviation school and from the first days of the war began to ask his father to go to the front. But first he was appointed inspector of the main directorate of the Air Force. He was burdened by this position because he did not want to be said about him that he was hiding behind the backs of others using the influence of his father. However, he had a chance to fight. His award list states that he flew 26 sorties and shot down to enemy aircraft. How successful was Vasily Stalin as a military pilot? It is difficult to judge this, since many materials about him have been classified for many years. Colleagues remembered him in different ways. Some pointed to his personal bravery and brilliant abilities for aviation. Others said that even at the front he managed to bully and make jokes. So, Vasily got his wound not as a result of a combat operation, but during a drunken fishing trip, when he and a friend silenced a fish with a rocket. Already at the age of 21, Vasily Stalin was awarded the rank of colonel. At the age of 28 he rose to lieutenant general. Such a rapid promotion did not affect his professional qualities in the best way. Under the air force of the MVO, Vasily formed several sports teams, including football and hockey. He personally patronized athletes beat out apartments for them, improved their financial situation and even sometimes saved them from repression. It is no coincidence that many years later athletes remembered him with great warmth. Vasily had a magical effect on women. His wide smile and slightly childish, open face involuntarily evoked sympathy. Only Vasily had for official wives, not to mention fleeting affairs. Vasily's first wife was the beautiful Galina Berdinskaya. Married to her, he had a son, Alexander, and a daughter, Nadezda. The girl graduated from a theater school, but her acting career did not work out. Son Alexander later became a famous theater director. Since the 46th year, Vasily lived with Ekaterina Timoshenko, who was the daughter of this legendary Soviet marshal. Two children were born in the marriage, a daughter Svetlana and a son Vasily. Little is known about the fate of his daughter, and his son Vasily died early, at the age of 23. There were rumors that he committed suicide under the influence of drugs. In the 50s, Vasily Stalin's wife was the famous Soviet swimmer Kapitolina Vasilieva. They had children together, and he adopted her daughter Lina from his first marriage. In recent years, Vasily has lived with nurse Maria Nusberg. Detractors said that she was sent to him by the KGB and reported on his every move. Immediately after Stalin's death, they wanted to send his son away from Moscow to lead one of the military districts. But Vasily did not obey the order for which he was dismissed. At the end of April of the 53rd year, he was arrested on charges of libel and abuse of office. The investigation lasted more than two years, and, in the end, Stalin's son was sentenced to eight years in prison. Vasily was serving his sentence in the Vladimir region. At the beginning of the 60th year, he was released under an amnesty signed by Khrushchev. Despite the fact that he was not yet 40 years old, he was already a deeply ill and prematurely aged man. Vasily was given an apartment in Moscow allowed to wear a military uniform and even assigned a personal pension. The only condition is to behave more quietly and not attract attention to yourself. But Vasily did not know how to be quiet and inconspicuous. He actively opposed the exposure of the cult of Stalin's personality, criticized the actions of the authorities, 
drank and rowdy. The cup of patience of the management overflowed when Vesely got into an accident while intoxicated. Some said that he hit a man to death, others, that he ran over some important delegation. In addition, Vesely tried to enter into secret negotiations with representatives of China and the Soviet leadership could not allow this. In the spring of the 60th year, Vesely was arrested again, he spent 12 months in Lefortovo. After that, he was sent into exile to Kazan, where he died a year later. In the 98th year, Kapitolina Vosilieva said in an interview that not everything is clean in the death of her ex-husband. The same opinion was shared by many friends and relatives of Vesely Stalin. Formerly, it was stated that he died of alcohol intoxication. Vasily really drank a lot and in recent years has sunk. Why do his loved ones not believe in the official cause of his death? The fact is that Vasily interfered too much in the affairs of the Soviet leadership. He continued to criticize Khrushchev and even wrote scandalous memoirs in defense of his father. Of course, they were banned from printing in the USA. The death of Stalin's son was beneficial to the authorities. But did Khrushchev decide to order his liquidation? Most likely not, but we will be able to reliably find out about it only when all the archives on this case are declassified.